Not only is this camera a great action cam, but it could just be the best all-round camera out at the moment. Why is no one talking about it? The Insta360 One RS 1-inch edition. Let's jump straight into the video. So the Insta360 One RS 1-inch edition comes in a modular design. You get the battery pack, the lens, and the core, which contains all the processing power for the camera. You can snap these together into different orientations depending on your needs. Once fitted together, they slide in the case, which is specially designed to disperse the heat from the camera. So really well designed there. It comes with a standard action camera mounts when mounted in the case and measures eight centimeters by six centimeters. So let's take a look at some of the specs of this camera. Well, it comes with a one inch sensor, which is the largest in any action camera and has been co-engineered with Leica. The maximum resolution you can record at is at 5.3K it's worth pointing out that that's with the stabilization off in camera. With the stabilization on, the highest resolution you can record at is 4K. We'll be touching more on this later in the video. The highest frame rate you can record at is 60 FPS, and the new RS Core is apparently 67% faster than the previous generation. But let's take a closer look and see if it really is any good. Now the core unit also contains a touch screen on the reverse where you can access all your settings and see what you're viewing. Now coming in at 25 mm square, it is quite small. It can be quite difficult to see such a small screen in bright sunlight or if your vision isn't 100%. Insta360 though make it very easy to adjust the settings on their app via your mobile phone. Now whilst we're talking about the Insta360 app, it's also worth pointing out at this time that sometimes I get a connection issue with the Wi-Fi between my phone and the camera. Now this could just be my phone, the Wi-Fi settings, or something going on, I don't know, but it's worth pointing out. It's actually whilst using the app that I realised that I very rarely look at a display screen on an action camera, or change the settings once I have them dialed in. So whilst a bigger screen would be nice, maybe Insta360 have got it right. How many of us really look at the display screen when using our action cameras? Now on Insta360's website, their battery says you can get an extra 80 minutes of record time. But in my test at 4K 25 frames per second, the maximum I've managed to get out of the battery is 78 minutes of record time. So I'm not sure where they get this extra 80 minutes from, but 78 minutes is reasonable. So to give you an example of the inbuilt microphones, I thought what better way than to come out and give you a real world test of the microphones that are built into the Insta360. So this is what you can expect in a vlog style setup. Now it's worth noting there's a 10 mile an hour wind coming over the camera into my face. And it's worth noting that Insta have built in some wind protection into their case, which is really forward thinking. Let me know how you think it sounds in the comments below. On the side of the camera, we have a cover which, when removed, exposes a USB-C type port and an SD card slot. But I must point out that removing the cover and reattaching it correctly is a right pain in the arse. And whilst we're discussing bad points about the camera, it's also worth noting the time delay between pressing the record button to when the camera actually starts recording is about two seconds. So the app has connection issues, the cover is a pain in the ass to put on and off, there's lag between pressing start and stop, the battery isn't class leading, we have a maximum frame rate of 60 where some other action cameras have 120, and if we're truthful the screen on the back is a little bit small. Oh, and have I told you about the minimum focus distance which is about 50 centimeters? so any close up work is out of the question. So why do I say that this could be the best all-round camera out there at the moment? Well, the image quality that comes out of this camera is unrivaled by any other action camera, in my opinion. It punches well above its weight. Let me show you some examples.
So you might be saying that the video quality is good, but the microphone is crap. Well, don't worry, because Insta360 also sell a microphone adapter, so you can plug in a better microphone if you're vlogging. Which is great for anybody that likes good audio quality from such a small device. Now straight out of the box, this camera comes with a sharpness level set to high, which is probably a little bit too strong for this lens combo. I much prefer medium, but let me show you some examples of the different sharpness levels. This is very high. This is high. This is medium, which I think is about right. And this is low. We also get three color profiles, vivid, standard, and log. Let me show you them examples. So this is vivid and gives it a slightly oversaturated look. The log profile, which is great if you're looking to color grade any of your footage. And the standard picture profile, which in my opinion looks absolutely fantastic. Very natural looking colors and not oversaturated. Now Insta360 say that this camera is waterproof down to a depth of 5 meters. Now unfortunately I have no way of testing this, but I can vouch that it is indeed waterproof. Now the Insta360 comes with inbuilt stabilization called Flow State. Now you can't apply this to 5.3K footage, but you can for anything lower than 5.3K. It comes in three settings, low, standard or high. So let's go test it out on the world's bumpiest path. This is a stabilization switched off, and yes, it is the world's bumpiest path. This is the flow state stabilization set to low, and in my opinion, it looks fantastic already. And this is it set to medium, and in my opinion, there don't seem much difference between low and medium. Now this is the stabilization set to high. Now in my opinion, they all look identical, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but they all look fantastic. Now you're probably saying to yourself, this flow state stabilization is all well and good for 4K footage, but you want to record at 5.3K and apply this flow state stabilization. Well, this is where Insta360 are geniuses. They allow you to download their studio program for your PC or Mac. That includes the flow state stabilization that you can apply to your 5.3K footage after the recording. It uses the gyro data from the footage you captured and stabilizes that footage for you in post. Now, when I downloaded this, I must admit I had my reservations about it. Normally, when you get free studios, they're buggy, glitchy, come with free adverts and all kinds of other free malware that's included with them. You know what I'm saying? But this program is really fantastic, very intuitive, and does exactly what you expect it to do. The biggest problem with this program is now do you turn off the stabilization in the camera and have more options to stabilize it in post or leave on the already good stabilization that's built into the camera? It's a great problem to have. I suppose the way to look at it is if you're looking for ease and simplicity, leave the inbuilt stabilization on in camera. But if you're working on a project where you have time to work on it in post, then this is the way to go. Low light performance from this camera with its one inch sensor is exceptional. Now I'm not going to go too deep into this video about it because it deserves a whole video for itself. There's also some really neat tips and tricks that you can do with this camera in low light situations. So I'm going to save that for the next video. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you leave a comment and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that episode. So we're coming up to the 10 minute mark in this video and I've not even touched upon the HDR photo mode, the photo mode, the time lapse mode, time shift mode, slow motion, loop recording, widescreen, burst shooting, star lapse, night photos and also interval shooting. So I'm definitely going to do a follow up video with a more in depth look at this camera. So to wrap up this initial review of the Insta360 1 inch edition and why I think it's probably the best all round camera at the moment. What other cameras are out there that can record at 5.3K, are 100% waterproof, fit in the palm of your hand, are tough as an action camera, are lightweight and discreet, and can produce great quality video even in low light.
And that's not forgetting the class leading stabilization built into this camera or the free software that it comes with. This really is a fantastic camera. Now I would like to say that this video has been sponsored by Insta360, but it hasn't been. This camera was purchased with my own money and everything in this video is my own opinion. Now if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more from myself, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. But we'll catch up in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. And whilst you're here, why not check out this video?